take a look at the starting goaltender, starting with the Marlies, and it is Ben Scrivens who gets the call. The 25-year-old is 8-1-1-1. He was 2-4-1 up with the big club. And at the other side, it is Nathan Lawson, who had missed six games with a concussion. He brings in a 10-9-3-3 record and a 2.56 goals against. Stafford 55 along with Frederick St. Denis, the Blue Liners for the Hamilton Bulldogs who enter the Toronto zone. Kept in by Stafford. A little bit different for Gareth Stafford. This is a guy that was born in Los Angeles. Quite the change. Ian Schultz trying to center that puck and they wow. score. Ian Schultz and the Hamilton Bulldogs score the first ever outdoor goal in an American Hockey League game played in Ontario. It's 1-0 for the home side. Deschamps had a great game against the Milwaukee Admirables last game on Wednesday in that win for the Hamilton Bulldogs. He had two assists, got his feet moving here, digs it out loose again, gets it out front. Massey drives it home, so a very quick start. Zygman has almost picked it off. Alex Henry gets there first. Wilsey. Gave it away to Deschamps. And there's a backhand goal, and Ryan Hamilton threw it towards the net. Zygamanis was in front, and he tipped it home past Nathan Lawson, and we're tied at one. Follow-up shift here by the top line of the Toronto Marlies, and we just talked about pucks getting to the net. The first one almost dribbled through the five-hole on Lawson, and this one here is a fluky one, too. Dupuis, nice move to get around the captain, Henry. D'Amico. Centering pass upstairs goes Scott. Greg Scott gives the Marlies their first lead of this game. Been a so dominating shift, Kevin. A terrific shift for that line. And the top line for Hamilton caught out there for a lengthy shift. They could not get out of the zone. And it was Scott that started everything with a big hit on Palushai to keep the puck alive, drive it down low. And eventually off the cycle, he'll find his way to the net. So the top line for the Hamilton Bulldogs against the top line for the Marlies. Zygamanis. There's a shot right on our scores. Paris drives it home, and Drew Paris gets his first goal of the season, and the Marlies open up a two-goal lead. And a great feed from Mike Zygamanis. Terrific feed, and great patience shown by Zygamanis to hold this puck just enough time to allow Paris to get up into the play. A three-on-two, the stop at the blue line. Once again, the quick up gets to Zygamanis wide. He holds up inside the blue line. Paris jumps in. And it's not the hardest of shots, again, that gets through for Paris. But look at the bodies in front of Lawson. Matera able to keep it in. Mark Matera dances the line and then has the puck taken away from him by Mueller. Mark Mueller, Marcel Mueller, a wrist shot scores! Marcel Mueller, the third star in the game last Sunday, has got the Marlies up 4-1. to one. And, you know, there was a shot from that angle not too long ago that Lawson looked like he had a little bit of trouble handling. And you heard Nick and Darren talk about the shadow down there. And from the shadows, it's Mueller that takes the puck down the right-hand side. And it's always a good option to shoot the puck on ice, but he finds the seven hole. Or six, if you want to call it that, through Lawson. Get the puck to the net. He knows he has a body driving. So the Toronto Marlies with a 4-1 lead now on that goal by Mueller. Holzer will flip it down the ice. Fitzgerald will go out and get it. He is paired with Alex Henry. Quick up for DeSimone. An opportunity for LeBlanc. LeBlanc shoots and scores. Huge goal for Hamilton. It was all Toronto in the last four minutes. But this shift here turns things around for them. A good shift in the offensive zone. Toronto going for a change. And they get caught with a long stretch pass. The first that we've seen in this game. Up the ice, two zones. Tape to tape. LeBlanc goes in. And what a deke as he walks around Scrivens and bangs it home for his eighth goal of the year and cuts the lead to two. D'Amigo will get into the corner. He will take a hit from St. Denis. Both players go down. The referee calling for play to continue, and it comes to Coburn, who fires a shot into the back of the net to make it a 5-2 game. What a shot, and what a play in the corner, and I think for the Hamilton Bulldogs just got sucked into thinking that that puck was going to get frozen and stick in the corner, and a great job just to hold off a couple Bulldogs here <laughs> to Migo, and eventually it works its way out to Colburn, and he zips it home. So Fratton finds him high in the slot, 5-2 to two now for the Toronto Marlins. Here's Dupuis moving in. His backhand goes wide. Holzer takes a hit. 
As he gets it behind the net. Philippe Dupuy back to the point. And a shot with... No. Nope, that, the Marley celebrating. Nope. Yeah, it's, I think it's, I'm not too sure. It looked like he was going to wave it off, but I think he pointed, so... He and might have thought it was a high stick, but I think it's going to count, Kevin. Half a dozen goals now for the Toronto Marlies. Dupuy, D'Amigo, and Scott. Dupuy, Scott, the shot, he scores. Greg Scott makes it lucky number seven for the Toronto Marlies. As they are having some fun here at Iverwin. And that will do it. An outstanding outdoor classic. Oh! Won by the Marlies.